Welcome to Rising Meditations, episode 84. I'm going to start out cleansing. You can use this one. Um, I think it's really effective. Just uh, allow the smoke to circle your body. So I cleanse myself of any energies, entities, or associations that don't serve me. And I welcome those that do. What's up? What's up, Tomas? Welcome to Rising Meditations. We're gonna start off by setting our intentions for the day. The intention is, uh, you can say it, say it with me. What's up? Welcome, Jordan. What up, what up? So the intention for the day is, I've, I've recently been uh, meeting with a healer that's been practicing for like 40 years. Um, every time I, I meet with her, I feel awesome. Uh, for the rest of the day and then the next day it's like I'm on my own and I'm like trying to learn how to get to that place by myself so she's given me some extra things to do on top of my meditation that I've been doing every day one of them is this intention which is my intention is to feel better and better every hour of the day my intention is to feel better and better every hour of the day oh what's what's up welcome Maureen and then um, another one is, I am getting and feeling better every day. I am getting and feeling better every day. Um, and this is to also acknowledge the shadow and anything that doesn't feel better to um, encounter it and deal with it with grace and continue to maintain your frequency, you know, maintain your mood. Three valleys away. Yeah, I've been searching for a minute. Searching for a minute, man. And uh, this, this could be this could be a uh, the right a good direction. I got my uh, smoky quartz here. I got it at the rock show a little bit ago. So we're gonna start with some entity clearing. You can uh, close your eyes and listen, and uh, just try to embody the the feeling, the sensations of uh, the ascended masters of the light of source, whatever, whatever you call it. And I'm gonna say them for myself and for anybody listening and for all humans. Uh, entity clearing can be really powerful. Uh, but I've been finding that I might need to do that with myself because uh, karmic energy from ancestors are uh, data stored inside of your um, your genetics genetic karma it can uh, kind of program and dictate where your where your trajectory is going and the goal is to kind of work at like clearing some of that energy and make space for for new energy that serves you more what's up what's up patrick so i'm gonna start with it so this is a uh, removal of harmful parasitic energies entity clearing with i am commands uh, so this is mighty I am presence, great host of ascended masters, mighty legions of light, great angelic host, great cosmic beings, great cosmic light, blaze forth your limitless power of the blue ray and the blue lightning and the sword of blue flame of divine love. Seize, bind, hold, and active and remove from within and around me and all those listening in our world and every human being, the earth and its atmosphere, every discarnate entity, take them all from this planet instantly into the octave of light. Hold them there, bound and inactive, until they surrender everything to the light. And serve it eternally in humble, grateful, loving, and adoring obedience, and gain their freedom. Blast from existence instantly all humanly created entities. Their cause and effects within and around me and my world, and everyone listening to this right now, in every human body. The earth and its atmosphere forever. Replace all entities with the ascended master's consciousness. Light substance, purity, invincible protection, perfection, invisible, tangible, living, breathing presence, eternally sustained. We thank thee, thou doth always answer our every call, instantly, infinitely, and eternally. And here's the second phrase. Mighty I am presence, send your angel devas of the blue light and love before me, behind me, above me, behind me, around us, and through us. Sweep from us in our pathway all entities carnate and disincarnate. Keep us, our pathway, and all of our activity free from them forever. Please send le legions of angels to produce your perfection in, in us, in our world, and hold it there forever. 
and this is the ending statement. Mighty I am presence and great host of ascended masters, take quick command here, seize, bond, and remove instantly all entities, darkness, limitation, etc. from within and around us. Take possession of all and produce your perfection here forever. It is finished and I thank you. And now the next step is to close your eyes and allow or imagine uh, a rain of light pouring into your body and filling in any spaces where uh, that sort of entities or energies were holding space and may have been removed to solidify them and fill them in with light and health and, and abundance. So I've been doing this twice a day. And I'm gonna be more consistent on it now. And we're gonna lead the meditation with what's up, Isaac? Welcome. With a four. This is about a heart heart frequency. So just soak in these vibrations. Allow it to open up. commence so find yourself in a good seated position laying down or lotus position whatever you're comfortable in just make sure you have a straight spine good posture and you're comfortable in a space with low distraction so we're going to take a deep breath from the base of the spine inhaling love tranquility prosperity Exhaling any fear, doubt, or lack. Imagine the alchemical rose-colored orb is surrounding your body, protecting you from any outside disturbances. Any thoughts that are entering your field can be moved outside of the rose-colored orb, so they can be orbiting you. In the yogic tradition, they talk about creating space from the body and the mind. When you create space between your consciousness and your mind and your body, you create these things called ojas, which is basically lubrication through the life process. It makes life easier, it makes it easier to accomplish tasks. When you separate your identity and yourself from your mind and your body and your experiences, so put all these sensations, experiences, thoughts outside of your rose-colored bubble and allow them to sit there until we're done. You can always reassess and revisit these thoughts later. So imagine that a white purifying light is pouring in through your crown chakra, the top of your head, Detoxifying your cells, decalcifying, decalcifying your pineal gland, creating new neural pathways in your brain, increasing neuroplasticity, slowing down your prefrontal cortex and your amygdala, taking you out of the fight or flight and taking you into the deep state of relaxation, like alpha brainwave state. The sides of your skull are relaxing, your temples, your brow, the back of your head, where your neck vertebrae attaching to your skull is relaxing. Your eyes are softening. Allow your focus to be in between your brow, slightly above your head or in your heart center. So you're not thinking about looking at the back of your eyelids. Your cheekbones are relaxing, softening your jaw. A lot of people store tension in their jaw and don't even realize it. So 
allow it to relax. Your tongue is relaxing, your throat, your Ajna chakra is activating, which is your, th your third eye, your first eye, tapping you into your infinite wisdom. You know what you need at all times, despite your best efforts to often not listen to your inner foresight. Your throat chakra is opening up. Your Vasudha chakra is glowing, light blue, tapping you into your healing and creative energy. The sides of your neck are relaxing, the back of your neck, your shoulders softening, just relaxing, falling down. Your biceps, your triceps, your elbows, your forearms, all the way to the tips of your fingers, soften and relax. Your chest is relaxing, your upper back, your anahata, or your heart center is glowing, light green tapping you into the abundance of love that you always have available to give and receive. Your Manipura chakra, your solar plexus is glowing, bright yellow tapping you into balanced energy, healthy digestion, stable energy which you're always able to give and receive because everything that you need is right here your abs are relaxing your middle and lower back softening your sacral chakra is glowing orange tapping you into your sexual energy and your creative source Your hips are relaxing, your pelvic floor is softening. Your root chakra is glowing red, grounding you to the center of the earth, deploying roots. And it's reaching up through all your other chakras to your crown and you are reaching up branches into the cosmos, receiving all of the abundance of energy from source, solar energy, your thighs are relaxing, your knees, your calves, your ankles all the way to your toes. Your full body is balanced, all your energy is aligned. Your rose-colored orb is surrounding you. All your thoughts are drifting away. We're gonna move into alternate nostril breathing. Take your pointer finger and middle finger, place it on your between your brow and your third eye. Plug your right nostril, and we're gonna do a deep, slow, steady inhale through the left. Slow, steady exhale from the left. We're gonna alternate nostrils. Inhale through the right, plug your left one. Slow, steady exhale out of the right. Switch, inhale through the left. Exhale left. Inhale right. One last slow exhale out of the right. Drop your arm down and feel the balancing of your body, the decrease of the heart rate, moving into a relaxed state. In order to 
guide us into further relaxation, we're gonna move into square breathing. I'm gonna cue the inhale and the exhale. And we're gonna hold for a few seconds between each. So slow, steady inhale from the base of the spine starting now. Slow, steady exhale. Slow, steady inhale, all the way in. Slow, steady exhale, completely out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One last slow steady exhale. Sit in the stillness for a moment. We're gonna move into a new mantra. Um, the last meditation it was divine order. This one is going to be divine strength. I suggest saying it out loud. If you don't want to, you can just listen and say it in your head. I'm going to cue the mantra out loud for a couple minutes or so. And then I'm going to allow us to meditate for a while with just saying it in our heads. And then I will prompt you to release the mantra by bringing this bowl. So we're going to start the mantra with the bowl. Divine order. 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 Divine order divine order divine order divine order divine order 
Now we're gonna do a deep inhale and hold it for three seconds, then ex exhale. Exhale. Divine order. Divine order. Divine order. Divine order. Divine order. Divine strength. 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 Now say it in your head.
release the mantra. We're gonna move into the mudra of receiving. So just wheel your hands towards you, saying, I am receiving all of the wisdom, all of the love, all, this, all the support, prosperity, and abundance that I need to recognize the divinity in myself and others and to prosper. I'm grateful for everybody out there who sat with me and who, everyone who didn't, thanks for checking in, everybody. Appreciate you so much. Got a bunch of love for you. Um, one thing that I was gonna end on is talking about, I was, I was watching something yesterday by Sad Guru. He was talking about how karma is essentially, one explanation of it is that it's memory and how, how can you make your reality not just a product of your memory so like your genetic memory your ancestral memory your cellular memory and then also your like the memories from your past how do you create divert yourself into a direction that serves you better um that's what the intention of we set earlier today is feeling better and better every hour what steps and what things can you do to feel better and better every hour because you know when you're about to do that thing that doesn't quite serve you you know it might feel it might like be a quick gratification but in the you know the next couple of hours you're not going to feel so good um just think of those sort of things today as you're going throughout the day and uh, i recognize the divinity in all of you and also in myself i love you all i love myself this is health, happiness, and abundance, peace, and love. You. <laughs>